All right, Jason Burmis here with another IntelHub.com report, and uh, you know a lot of people have showed up here. It's just afternoon. Let me just take a little pan around right here. We just had a couple of protesters challenging security by actually walking down the path where these Bilderberg attendees are going down. We've now had several different black sedans uh, with heavily tinted windows go in. So I would say there are at least 10 to 12 possible Bilderberg members that have arrived. The security is getting bigger, but at, at the same time, so is the activist presence. I mean, the activist presence here is absolutely outstanding. Uh, I just had a long discussion with Adam Kokesh. Luke Radowski is here. Uh, Dan Dix is here. Uh, on top of that, RT would be the only semi-mainstream media to actually cover this. I just did an interview with them. And I am truly heartened to see all of these people, all of these people around me right now protesting this globalist cabal known as the Bilderberg Group. We will keep you informed and up to date only at the intelhub.com. I'm ready and I'm live, guys. Let's do it. Tell me when. Start it up. Hey, this is Michael Thompson with WND.com, and I'm here at the Westfield Marriott in Chantilly, Virginia on June 2nd. It's about 2 o'clock. There are uh, about 1,000 people, probably about 1,500 people from all across the country gathering here in Virginia to uh, to attend the protest of the Bilderberg 2012 event. And I'm here with uh, one of the gentlemen who is uh, responsible for the protest, Alex Jones of Infowars.com. Really needs no introduction. Alex, tell us about what uh, what you're thinking about all the people coming here at this, uh, this well, three-day protest. This is very exciting. You know, there were about 200 people at one time the first day. Most people just can come through through a day because they're all working hard to pay money to the foreign banks and bailouts. Uh, and it's a very diverse crowd, a lot of veterans, current active duty, a lot of police, black, white, old, young, libertarians, conservatives, uh, kind of mainline liberals that are waking up to the false paradigm, mainline conservatives. Uh, it's very, very exciting uh, to see what's happening. World Net Daily for years, uh, breaking the Berlin Wall of uh, disinformation. You guys have been exposing it. Washington Times came out, DrudgeReport.com, London Guardian. Now we have the Washington Post, Associated Press. Unfortunately, Beck was making jokes about it. Because, I mean, you know, his, his huntsman, his little buddy's in here. Yep. Uh, well, and, 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 and others have been making jokes about it, like Daily Caller. But, you know, real libertarian constitutional outfits like World Net Daily have been out there fighting, fighting hard to get the truth out. So what's exciting is we had, oh, let me think, probably 300, 400 people total the first day. Uh, 500, 600, because most people just come there a few hours and leave. They made it very hard to park around here. Rolled out a red carpet for the tyrants. Beat the American people, the enemy, over the head with, with the book because uh, we're the enemy. You know, anybody that stands up for freedom. Is bad. Well, real quick, Alex, so, let it go. I mean, like today, it's there's got to be 500, 600 people been out here in the last few hours, so thousands have come through. I think it's going to peak tonight and tomorrow as people get here from all over the country. Go ahead. Now, Alex, real quick, a lot of people are still going to say, hey, you know, this doesn't sound like it's legitimate. It sounds like a conspiracy. But, folks, if you're looking here, yeah, yeah, right, there's nothing going on. We're at the Westfield <laughs> Marriott entrance, and there's at least uh, 30 uniformed officers they're all around the building. They're doing a great job. You know, they're here to protect. They have no idea what's going on. A lot of the officers don't. They're in the dark. Well, I agree. A lot of them are actually listeners. They're nice. Yes. But they have been white gloving little old ladies and people pulling them over Understand. when they park in bus lanes to get out and put somebody out while letting the Bilderberg people almost run yeah. folks over. I've seen that uh, actually and, 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 and break the law yeah. and do whatever they want and that's shameful. This is illegal and violates the Logan Act. There are a bunch of crooks in there. It's one thing to guard it. It's another thing to make money off people that came from across the country and are sleeping in their cars. Well, Alex, if, I may, evil. if I may say one more thing. If you look at uh, the number one movie right now, we talked about this the other day, and the, and the world is the Avengers. Yes. It's made $1.3 billion worldwide. Now, when that movie, the United States military would not work with the Avengers filmmaker for one reason, because they couldn't ascertain whether or not the uh, shield <coughs> who the Avengers worked for were actually part of the United States military, which the United States military then pulled out and wouldn't uh, work with the film. Would you uh, describe the that shadowy organization that the Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson character talks uh, talks to and gets orders yeah, from? Yeah, this is like Shield from Bilderberg. This is the private corporate network that set up all these transnational private groups that they have their traders and government sign the authority over to. And, and officially, the, 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 the UN and NATO say they now run yeah. our military. And, and Congress sat down and said, yes, you do. 
Well, America's got its own Captain America here in Alex Jones. Uh, we're going to let him go and uh, get back to doing Thanks, what he does. Alex. But WND reporting live from Well, Northern you guys are doing an incredible job. Let me interview you. Tell me what you think of what's happened here. To those who you are. No, I, I'm Michael Thompson. I work with uh, WND.com. I have a great pleasure working with Joseph Farah and, Ger uh, and Dr. Jerry Corsi. And uh, we, we've. Um, we're just, uh, you know, one of the uh, top, I guess you'd call us, conservative uh, news outlets in the uh, in the country. And um, this is an event that's uh, got to be discussed. Like you said, Washington Times is out here. Um, you've got foreign uh, newspapers uh, covering this event. A lot of them are doing it tongue-in-cheek, but there's no reason to be tongue-in-cheek when you have this much security uh, that rivals any anything you'd see uh, in Hollywood. Um, and I think that one of the best things you can always say is if there were uh, some of the top entertainers in the country gathering, to, uh, to, to to come together to talk about stuff. The entire world, uh, the entire world's journalists would be here to cover this event. But when it's the uh, the bankers, and like you said, see the top policymakers, eh, no one really cares. They turn the other cheek. So uh, this is something that uh, if you care about the Constitution, if you care about American sovereignty, if you care about uh, an, our nation and our children's posterity, that's what we're all doing. I believe fighting for. Um, then you have to be out here trying to find out why. You know, we're not allowed in there to see what's Bilderberg going on. is undoubtedly upset that this is being covered. Without a doubt, and I think you've seen the transparency and sort of the democratization of, uh, of journalism over the years to uh, to break down, as you would describe it as the metaphor, the Berlin Wall, that brings about this uh, these discussions and uh, and the and the somewhat transparency forced them to actually have a website now, and that's I think a testament to uh, to your work, Alex. Well, no, it's everybody out here. It's us or them. We got to defeat them. Humanity's got to wake up and take action. Now is the time, ladies and gentlemen. These people are eugenicists. The Rockefeller Foundation admits in public press releases and in their original documents. Just Google, folks, search engine, Rockefeller Foundation sterilants and vaccines. Rockefeller Foundation cancer viruses and vaccines. Look up autism. One in 25,000, now one in 58. They think you're so dumb, they brag how they put poison in the food and water. Everybody out there watching. Can you talk about why the Constitution is important to those people who are American Idol, Fluoride Head? <laughs> well, I mean, why will it be? Well, I mean, listen, I doubt the World Net Daily readers and people are ignorant. Some of the people that might be watching on Ustream might be new. They want to get rid of it because it creates checks and balances to their tyranny. That's why they demonize the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and Time Magazine, Newsweek, because it stands in the way of their criminal takeover. I, I would say this, one of the most important movies uh, that's ever been made is They Live, starring uh, Roddy Rowdy Piper, and I think that movie pretty much sums up the world we live in. I think that's it. I mean, uh, I think you can actually get those abilities if you're smart enough. <laughs> Movies offer a great insight into the zeitgeist. I think that's one of the main things people need to understand. And, uh, and, uh, Where's Charles Lachine? That's it. <laughs> I just want to know why I got a migraine headache when I'm out here. Hey, attention, they pulled the black sheet off here, of The main thing is for viewers, for WND.com, I mean, if you have any questions about what's going on, just just look at the security that exists. It's that simple. Uh, question that. So. Oh, you guys are kicking my 